Folks, I hope you're ready for this one. Here it is. Arrest Them Now government funded lab in Maryland plans to develop hybrid monkeypox strain that is more lethal than previous strains. Wow, I can't believe that these people are doing this, uh, much less even being allowed to do this. Uh, quite a shock -roo. And the article goes on here uh, to go on to explain exactly why they feel it's necessary to do something like this. So here it is. According to the report, the virologists plan to test to determine if the mutation between two strains makes the virus more deadly to mice. Huh. Researchers are hopeful that if they can figure out how certain genes contribute to the severity of monkeypox, they might create more effective treatments and vac vaccines. Oh, so they're doing this for the good and the betterment of all mankind. Boy, that makes sense. Wow, you know, I'd love to believe that, but I have a really hard time, especially based on everything we've seen in the last two and a half years. It just seems like one story after another that the public's being told, and well, is it true? Is it not true? Well, <laughs> You know, it's funny, those people who say it's not true have been labeled conspiracy theorists, but my take on that is, well, what's the difference, difference between the truth and a conspiracy theory? About two months, that's what I've been saying because it seems like truth just keeps coming out and out. Look, I want to steer this back to the Bible uh, in all of this, as I, as I try to all the time, and this comes from a passage I read yesterday in Hosea. But you have planted wickedness, you have reaped evil, you have eaten the fruit of deception. Because you have depended on your own strength and on many warriors, the roar of battle will rise against your people so that all of your fortresses will be devastated. Folks, when I read that verse, the thing that sticks out to me more than anything is the dependency upon your own strength. And you know, when I read articles such as this one right here, I have to wonder, or I have to know that, you know, God knew this was gonna happen. You know, this is actually even predicted, Jesus, I always quote this, uh, Matthew 24 talks where Jesus uh, talked about pestilences coming towards the end time. So really, this should not come as a surprise. But the point of this passage right here is to make you, to try and get you to understand that really, we've got to start relying fully on God at the end of the day, because he's got control of this. We can read these messages right here, we can get all worried and worked up about it, but we've got to know as Christians, as believers, as putting our faith wholly and truly in God, that God has this, no matter what happens to us. And the thing I want to bring also uh, to your attention too is, I read this from a study Bible, and I read the, the excerpt from this. It says that the Israelites trusted in the lie that military power could keep them safe. Believers today are also capable of falling for lies. Those who want to lead others astray often follow these rules for effective lying. Here it is, make it big, keep it simple, and repeat it often. And doesn't it seem like that's what the mainstream media is constantly doing to us, where it's like, okay, some of it's truth, bit of it's a lie, uh, and they just keep forcing it down your throat so that everyone around you seems to be parroting the same information because you're all drinking from the same well. Well, I challenge everyone here, stop drinking from that well. If there's one well that you should be drinking from, it's the Bible, it's scripture, it's to be giving uh, your everything to God and, and trusting in him that he's got you. Because no matter what happens, and it will get worse, no matter what happens, if you put your trust in the Lord, he will get you through this right to the end. Folks, that's my word today. Uh, look, I hope this means something for you. I hope it encourages you at the end of the day. And if it did, I'd really appreciate if you gave it a like, or probably more importantly, pass it along to someone who you think could be blessed by this. So that's it, folks. Uh, hope to see you. Hope you have a great weekend, and hope to see you next time.